Hey guys, Colton Robinson, coming to you live here from the end of the world. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nope, today wasn't the end of the world. Although, a lot of people said that it was going to be because of the uh, solar eclipse that was happening. Today's April 8th. Here we are. We survived it. The sun is still in the sky. Right there. Anyway, that was fun and exciting, wasn't it? But, uh, you know, I was actually shocked to see how many people actually believed that today was going to be the last day on this planet. The end of the world as we know it. And uh, people ask me, do you believe that today, the day of the solar eclipse, was going to be the last day. Um, no. No, not a chance. Why is that? Well, uh, because I know what the Bible says. And I know how this world is going to end because of that. And therefore, when people come up with all these crazy lunatic, lunatic really, lunatic ideas about how the world is going to end, I realize that it's just all lies. It really just is all lies. Um, we've seen it before, and we saw it again today, and we will see it again and again as long as people are believing all these crazy ideas that the media and that random people on social media are coming up with. As long as... Uh, People are believing these lies. They will continue to lie to people. And it's it's really, uh, it's a sad thing. But as you can see, the sun is still in the sky. The wind is still blowing. The birds are still chirping. And we're still here. Imagine that. Imagine that. Now, uh, you might ask me, why do you believe what the Bible says? Why do you believe that today wasn't going to be the end of the world? Well, um, can we can we trust the validity of the things that the Bible says? Of course we can, and I'll tell you why. It's because the Bible has over 2,500 prophecies. A prophecy is foretelling the future. Over 2,500 prophecies in the scriptures. And did you know that around 2,000 of them have already been fulfilled? That means... About 2,000 predictions that the Bible has made about this world and this earth through the course of time have already happened. To the T, to the letter, they have already taken place. And I'm not talking about all the crazy religions of the world that spout off a bunch of random things, hoping that something will possibly come true at some point. And they do every once in a while. But here's the thing. When 2,000 prophecies come true that's more than a fluke that's more than just like throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks no th i mean there's two thousand of them that have come true so can we trust the validity of the bible of course we can now does the bible say that the world is going to end because of a solar eclipse no does the bible say that a solar eclipse is going to melt people's faces off no now it does say at the end of at the end of the days that the sun will be so hot that people will be afraid of it. Um and uh yeah, I think we can already see that happening. But is that day today? No. So many more things have to happen before we actually get to that point. But here's what I'm getting at is that these things that people bring up, all these lies that are spouted off all over the internet and all over the news, there's only one reason that they actually have any weight to them. And that is because people give them weight. People believe them. And why do people believe them? Because they don't know the truth. And because people don't know the truth, they don't know when they hear a lie. You see, this is happening because we are so far away from what the truth 
of the Bible is. And nobody, well, I shouldn't say nobody, but there's not as many people today who believe the truth of the scriptures and study them and know what they say. And so anytime the news feels like it, they could throw out anything and say, the, the world is ending today. The world is ending tomorrow. The world is ending the next day after that. And people just believe it. And even though today they were proven wrong and prove, I mean, the sun is still there, right? This proves that they lied to you. There's so many people who will still go out there and still believe them and still watch the news every single day and be so afraid of the next thing that's going to happen. Look, the news, the, the job of the media is to make you afraid. Why? Because they know if they can make you afraid, then you'll come back and keep watching. And that's their goal because they sell ads that way. But look, if you would just stop and look at this moment, and what we can learn from it. We can learn that the news has already said, and so many people have already said, that the world was going to end today. And that the sun was going to be so hot that it was going to melt people. And yet, here I am, outside, sun right there. Th this is just like an hour after the solar eclipse happened. And yet, everything's fine and everything's normal. What we have to learn from this is that you can't trust these people. They're not out looking for your best interest. They're out looking for theirs. And the scriptures tell us, the Bible tells us, that if somebody gives a false prophecy, if somebody tells you that something is going to happen in the future and it doesn't happen, that you shouldn't believe them anymore. Now, that, I mean, that's just common wisdom, okay? Like, you don't have to, like, be a genius to figure this out. Okay, if somebody lies to you, chances are the next time they tell you something, you don't believe them. And yet so many people just go on believing the news in all kinds of media, even though they lie every single day. Look, I'm here to tell you that if you would just read the Bible and believe what it says, you will know what's happening next. And you will know how the world is going to end. And you will never have to be afraid of what the news says anymore, of what any type of media, any type of social media, any, anything anybody else says. You will never have to be afraid of it again because you will know what the truth is. And when you know what the truth is, you can discern what the lie is. And therefore, you don't have to be afraid of the lie anymore. The lie holds no weight. It holds no value if you know what the truth is. The only reason that these lies, like today, that the world was going to end, have any type of weight and any type of value is because people don't know what the truth is. That's it. They don't know what the truth is. Look, the scriptures tell us what the truth is. The scriptures tell us that God loves us. He cares for us. He's made a way for us. And yes, the world is going to end one day. But today isn't that day. There's so many things that have to happen before we get there. Including the fact that Jesus is going to come back for those who are his. And are going to rescue them out of the crazy things that are going to happen as this world is ending. So trust in him. Believe in him. Believe that he has made a way for you. All you have to do is say to him, God, I believe that you're real. I receive you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. And I trust that you are going to take me into eternal life, into heaven. And that's it. Amen. So be it. And that's all. You will never have to worry about the end of the world anymore. Because God says... That the moment that he decides to take you off of this earth, he will come and get you. It says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And he says, which of you, by worrying, can add even one hour to his life? Not even one hour. You can worry all you want, and yet it doesn't do you any good. Because only God knows the number of your days. 
He knows the day of your birth. He knows the day of your death. And he knows every day in between because he has ordained them from the beginning of time. And so now you don't have to worry anymore. You don't have to fear the things of the world anymore. I mean, look at Alvin. Look at my cat, okay? Does he look worried about the end of the world? No, he doesn't. You know why? Because he's not smart enough to. <laughs> but we see all the rest of creation. They're not concerned. Look at this. Look how beautiful. Okay, hold on. I got to turn my aperture down. Oh, well, and not let me do this. Maybe I'll have to do this later. But you can see, okay? Look at all the rest of creation out here. Does it look worried? No, it's not concerned. You know why? Because it knows who its creator is. And it knows that it can trust its creator. Look, do you know who your creator is? Do you know that you can trust your creator? Because if you knew that, you wouldn't be afraid of the things of the world. You wouldn't be afraid of all the things that the news says. You would just trust him. You would know that he loves you. You would know that he's there for you. And I pray, even now, God, that you would just give people discernment through your word, God, through your truth, that they can discern the lies of the world, that they can discern the lies of the media, and that they can have true hope in you, knowing that none, none, none of the things that happen to them in this world can take them off of this earth. None of the things that happen in this world can kill them unless you are ready for them to come home. You say, of all that you were given, you have lost none. For there is no one that can snatch us out of your hand. There's no one. God, would you give us trust in you? Would you give us belief in you? Would you spark great revival in this nation? A great awakening that people would come to know you like never before. And that people would see the truth. And they would be able to get rid of the lies of this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I truly pray that you take that to heart. And that you know your creator and your savior. And you know that you could trust him. We'll see you later.